1941, the most well remembered of all the raids on Newtown took place when Ramsar Mall Factory was bombed. The type of work carried out at the factory made it not good for them. The raid began at about 1.40 in the afternoon. Many of the workers were returning from their lunch break when the alert sounded at 1.35. A few minutes later, a single German Heinkel III bomber, flying so low that those on the ground could actually see its markings, approached from the south, following the railway line alongside. As it neared Ransom Mall, it was fired on from several different points, but still it managed to drop four high explosive bombs. Two of these landed in the works, one on the road at the side of the factory, the other on an air raid shelter next to Sandwich Street. The plane also machine gunned the site before circling, passing over the factory again and dropping another bomb. Fortunately, this one did not explode. According to German reports, the aircraft flew over for a third time in order to take photographs. The Raiders' path siren was sounded, and rescue parties went at once into action. Various ambulances transported casualties to hospital, and the Home Guard helped to close the roads around Ransom Mall. The first aid post and the Women's Voluntary Service Canteen were really kept busy. At 2.24 p.m. the alert sounded again. Another enemy aircraft approached and dropped five more bombs, but only one exploded. This was near the road and caused more damage and casualties, many of those hurt being the rescue workers. Raiders Pack was sounded again at 2.51. As a result of the raid, 30 men and 10 women were killed. One young woman was never found and was presumed dead. Amongst those killed were a young woman who had planned to get married the following weekend and a man who had recently been discharged from the army. 65 people were admitted to Newark Hospital on that day and 100 more were treated at Ransom Mall's Work's own underground hospital. The German cop from Munich of the raid stated that a daring low-level attack took place on an armament factory at Newark, causing heavy damage in the workshop. The bombers were under the command of Lieutenant Knau and Lieutenant Lander. Local papers, though, were severely restricted in what they could report. The day after the raid, the Newark Herald merely reported that a single German plane came out of the low-lying clouds yesterday and dropped a number of bombs on an East Midland town. An hour later, the same, or another later, dropped more bombs in the same locality. There were a number of casualties, some being fatal. After the raid, the two paired Lewis guns, which were mounted in sandbag positions on Clay Lane Bridge, were replaced by a Beaufort 40 mm anti-aircraft gun mounted on a proper gun platform. Fortunately though, the factory is not attacked again. Raids in the vicinity of Newark went on. In March, May, May 1941, the Newark Herald reported eight flight casualties when a Heinkel III popped out of low cloud and dropped five high explosive bombs near a North Midland town. Newark was normally the North Midlands town referred to in the local but the author had been unable to discover exactly where the range took place. The aircraft went on to machine gun people in the street, but was soon driven off by a sharp burst of anti anti-aircraft fire and by RAF fighters. This time, fortunately, only slight damage had been caused. Attacks against the airfield were not seen. In March 1941, Syston Airfield was bombed. Nine delayed action bombs were dropped, causing craters and damage to vehicles, but no casualties. Boulderton Airfield was bombed while under construction. High explosives.
explosive bombs being dropped on three nights. Other local places attacked included Southwell, Biscotton, Barlandon, Stapleford, and Norton Business. Many German aircraft as they were written to Europe without actually making an attack. The raiders used the tall St. Mary's Church, the River Trent, and local roads and railway lines as landmarks, and also attacked Nottingham as a city. In October 1944, censorship regulations were relaxed, and some details of aircraft raids in September 1939 were reduced. The air raid warning sign of Captain Town in Italy on 283 occasions Further 80 were treated for light wounds. In 1992, a plaque was unveiled in memory of those who died in the Lansdowne Mall area. The graves of some of those killed can be seen in the rear of the Polish War Cemetery here on El Avenue. 